on this episode of Leanne's Garage Adventures cooling system. <laughs> Nothing to do with the cooling system. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how many bad boys you can fit in this? Two. Down. On the ground. You know what I mean? Sure. What would you even consider gnarly at this point? What do you mean? Well, like the other day you said, no, nah, I'll save it, man, for when we build something gnarly. Well, wait, what are we saving for? I don't remember. Oh. But what would you consider gnarly? I don't know. This thing's pretty mild. This thing's mild like a Carolina Reaper. Yeah, aren't those, like, really mild? Yeah. Yeah. We should cut those off. We're going to rip the whole pipe off. Or let them scrape so you know how low you are. They'll self clearance. <laughs> I'm sure they're... <sighs> so I actually don't like this pipe. I want to redo it. But you're going to tighten it. Huh? I don't know. It depends when I get there what happens. I might redo it right now. So anyway, all the coolant pipes are going on. Now that the coolant pipes are basically wrapped up, <laughs> as the ones not attached. The steam ports on the heads need a place to go, so they're going to relieve into the overflow canister. This should be a nice spot, so it's just gonna drill a hole, weld it in place, call it a day. Or are you gonna weld it in place, drill a hole straight through it, and call it a day? No, I already drilled the hole. Oh, I missed it. So I put it at an angle. Why? I put it at an angle so that it faces. Because it was already cut at an angle, so I didn't feel like uncutting it at an angle. Go fuck yourself. Uncutting it at an angle. <laughs> when I first was learning how to weld, right? See this big old long end cap? Well, I was going to town, right? And had my helmet down. And I don't know how the heck I did it. But I pulled back my face and I yanked this towards my head. And it went up under the mask and shoved it right in my <laughs> eye. And I had a black eye oh for like God. two months. It wouldn't go away. Now how the hell did you get that black eye? I shoved the tin torch in it and like... <laughs> Oh man. super thin so I was kind of melting everything. See that's something that a kit should come with. This? That gnarly looking device. Right? It's a seahorse with a hat. It's like, why is this coolant piece $600? Well, <laughs> because. I probably have about 35 cents in this whole thing. I found it in the bin over there and I cut it. it ruins up. the sales of all future question mark coolant overflow pipe thingies. Question mark coolant. Just so the viewers at home didn't think you left it not on there. Some shitty ass clamps. Why? So Leon's been busy and he put on all these shiny mother clamps. I didn't put any of those clamps on. It's really dark, but but there's a lot of them. Oh yeah, now you can see it. Just a variable treasure trove of clamps. <laughs> Oops. I should invest in clamps. It's been a while since I recorded anything. Fuck your chicken nuggies. Welcome to Leon's Garage Adventures, and this is where we just pick up on the other video, right? Yeah, because we've only got about three minutes of actual footage, so. Huh. All right. Well, the hood's bolted on, and the back's bolted on besides the very back. Yep. But here yeah. and here, yeah. did, I don't even remember if they've seen that you have a slick top now. I think so. Um, huh. It's got glass. Yeah. You know any bad boys you can fit in this thing? I was thinking like you tap on it, it shatters. <laughs> yeah, ah. let's not do that. Yeah. Also, you've been busy with the harness. Looks like you've been Moving some things around because I see coil packs now. I also saw that the intake had some harness on it, probably for injectors and whatnot. 
Uh, oh, that's right. Last time I hmm? added some hose clamps. Oh, yeah. yeah. I added a... Uh, oh, got that new fresh headliner. It's pretty cool. Nice warped center console glove box. Yeah. It's March 23rd, 2020. So when you guys watch this six months from now, you'll know what's up. Six months from now. Andrew Slack and I have the video skills. It's true. It's true. So where are we at, buddy? Tell us about this thing. You just did. Oh, okay. So you said before that the radiator is supposed to fit with zero modification? You need some modifications. Okay. This is one that you bought with the kit. If we both use one hand because we're both kind of busy, I think we can get it out. That's a yes. Wow. Falls over, falls in half. Falls in half? Yeah. So we gotta modify these. These little rubber supports were at the bottom of where the radiator goes. They need to be modified, but I don't know how. Oh. You know the exacto way to do it? <laughs> We're gonna cut them more into a rectangle instead of a round shape. A rect angle? A rectal. Damn near killed him. You ever whittle anything? Uh, should I? Whittle me this, Batman. Ja, ja, ja. What'd you want, a light? I don't know. We could have taken the hood off. I don't like you. Try to pull that back through the holes so that it oh. stays in there. Why not film this? Yeah, little cares. Brandy dandy new radiator. We're trying not to scratch it, right? Yes. Okay. Scratch it. Now I gotta. <laughs> so we got the other piece that. Uh... Wait, is that the last piece of the puzzle? There's like eight people who know that joke. And none of them watch this show. <laughs> Should we hit it with some paint? I hit it with a trash can. <laughs> hey, got it break. Cool. Got to be modified as well. Yeah. When I was your age, I was older than you. <laughs> oh shit! I just ripped it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a giraffe. Did you need that part? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but don't you have a bunch of other Fieros? Could the same be done with just some pads of rubber? Probably. Yeah. I don't know why they said to modify these. I, I put a thicker radiator in the black car. <laughs> I had this fucking ram that bitch on. Wow. Give them a little flyers. Flyers! I just had them. They're probably up on the cow. This is for testing porpoises. So I got a couple of LS bolts that hold down a valley cover and front cover and stuff. Cause I can't find my other bolts, but they fit. So run with the run. Literally the easiest part of the whole car put off to the last second. That's good. I don't know why I didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to do it. Okay. Here. Ow! <laughs> she's, she's a brick. That was like five thousand dollars worth of stuff on those hit the ground. Two things. I know. Well, you can't see anything, anyways. That's the way they like it. Need to have money for nothing, and you checks for free. Yeah, we'll just get an overall Andrew working. I think you'd be really impressed that I just put this hose clamp on. One-handed? With one hand. I am impressed. You got that... Mainly because I got some big old fat hands that can't fit anywhere. You got that 12-foot extension that you dropped? <laughs> I put it away. Put it away, put it away, put it away. My $1,400 extension. Oh, my bad. I put it in the other box. Just grab another 14-inch one. Look at this guy, dude. 
<laughs> Look at him. There comes my we have to go get a radiator cap too. What's wrong with the radiator cap? cap yeah. The one for back there. Um, yeah. The one at the bottom, one handed first try. The one at the top, three hands, special socket. Yeah, boy. She's thick. Look at that. Woo! Nice crusty top piece holding a brandy dandy new radiator in. And we're done. That's it. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Leon's Garage Adventures. We could do an actual closeout too. So it turns out I need a four inch inlet for my intercooler and not three and a half. 102 instead of 92. So the cooling system is done. If you want to see some more shenanigans, or more of the middle, check it out, Leon's Garage Adventures. Subscribe, maybe check out our next video. Also, Andrew has a channel. Turn around, Andrew. Or you don't have to. Oh. If you want to check out Andrew's channel, Thousand Dollar Car Guy, he's got a pretty cool Festiva. Only one of its kind. Yeah. LS, Turbo. That's apparently what we do. That's now. what we do. Yep. Nobody says to stop, so. I mean, there's a chance. Mm. Once the intercooler piping's done. So, now I'm thinking maybe I should just do the intercooler.